everybody, it's Dizzy and I've got a DIY video for you guys today. Um, I roll my hair on roller sets a lot and I use foam rollers a lot, which are these guys right here. And these little foam pads can actually kind of dry out the ends of your hair. So one of the things you can do is you can buy them with satin around them. And um, what that does is it protects the hair, it keeps it very smooth, and it keeps the ends from getting dried out. Now, I couldn't find the satin foam rollers in my local area. So what I decided to do is to try to take the foam rollers that I already have and cover them with some satin fabric. You could also use t-shirt fabric, anything you wanted. But this is what it kind of looks like when it's done. I know, how cute are they? I've got a couple different sizes and like I said they work completely normally as a normal foam roller so you just do what you always do you know you grab your hair and you'd use them wet most of the time but yeah so they completely clamp and work and they're just like normal foam rollers so to do this you just need some foam rollers and you need some satin fabric. This is just some fabric that I had lying around um, from a project that I did a while back. So what you want to do is you want to take the roller apart, take the foam part off, and then you want to lay down your fabric and cut the fabric into a square that'll fit around the roller. So you just want to take it and wrap it around the roller all the way around. Does not have to be perfect. And then you're going to take a needle and thread fold it around and then you're just going to insert the needle in to the satin anchor it around and then just so across the seam and you can do this as messy as you want the end and you're actually sewing through the foam as well so it's really on there the ends might eventually unravel, but you can always just replace it, or you could use um, glue or something to kind of finish the ends. This is just a really quick tip. You guys can make nicer, more permanent versions, obviously. But and then when you get to the end, there's a little bit of extra. You're just going to snip off the extra, taking care not to actually trim the foam roller. And then just take the regular part and stick it through and voila. Damage free foam roller for your next set. Um, you can do this on any size roller, which is the other thing I like about it because for the back of my hair, I occasionally will use these really small ones and it's very hard to find those in the pre-covered um, black satin rollers. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little quick five-minute hack, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!